Hey guys, well, you've asked me to do more Dynamics videos and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, today we're going to dive into the uh, Vortex field and we're going to use that to make a character disintegrate. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, well, around my 2018, I loaded up a model of Dennis. Dennis is a model that you can get for free on RenderPeople.com. I did a video about this a couple of days ago, so if you want this model, check out that video. And that said, we're going to use Dennis to kind of disintegrate him. And we're going to do that using a, a vortex field, right? You guys asked me to do more videos on dynamics, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we got Dennis right here. And the thing with Dennis is, though, if I go in and I right click and go to face and select one of these triangles and I try to pull that out, he's kind of stretchy because, you know, his body parts are kind of attached. So we're gonna hit Control Z, and what I'm gonna do is go in, right click on the vertex, drag select everything, and go up to Edit Mesh and Detach. So now if I go in and I take a face, uh, or any other face, let's see, yeah, there you go. I can actually pull it out of Dennis completely, and that's what we want. So let's hit Control Z, Control Z, and Control Z, there you go. So that part's all set up, and the next thing we need to do is we need to turn um, Dennis into an end cloth object. So we're going to go to object mode. He is selected. We're going to go to our FX menu. We're going to go to end cloth and create end cloth. Now that's all good. Uh, problem is though that whenever you do that, it will create two things: an end cloth object and a nucleus, and that nucleus has gravity information. So if I set the, my animation slider. To, let's say frame 2000 and I hit play on my keyboard let's see what happens here and you can already see it Dennis is starting to fall down and he's falling down for the simple reason that there's a gravity attached to it so let's stop that let's jump back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in we're gonna select him we're gonna hit uh, yeah there you go we're gonna hit control A to open up and we're gonna go into the uh, nucleus right there and we're going to change the gravity to zero to fix that problem. All right. So now that we have done all that, it's time to create our vortex field. And so we're going to select Dennis once again, and we're going to go into our FX menu. We're going to go to field and solvers. Let's go into vortex, open that up, go to edit and reset settings. So we're all on the same page and hit apply. And because we created that while having Dennis selected, um, that should work. Now, I got this uh, Vortex set up right here behind his head, and uh, we're gonna close this uh, out. I think, yeah, we're all good. Close this out, and then the only thing we need to do now is to set up um, the magnitude. Let's bring this next to his head. I think that's kind of cool, okay? So I'll just uh, bring it in a bit closer here. And there you go. And we're going to go in and let's set that magnitude to, I would say, 40. Okay. And let's hit play on our keyboard. It's not going to go fast, but once it's uh, cast, it will. Uh, let's hit play and see what happens. Well, as you can see, Dennis is completely and utterly destroyed. All right. So let's uh, stop this, let's go back, and let's see if we can tweak that a little bit. So what I wanna do here is, uh, let's see, we'll decrease that magnitude a little bit. Let's do maybe 15. And let's just uh, bring that a little bit closer to his head here. Okay, and let's see how that works out. Here we go. Ready guys, and play. We'll just stop that kind of cool right well that's just a simple example of what you can do um, using a vortex field okay so uh, short and sweet but nevertheless hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll come up with some stuff that you can uh, uh, apply this field to all right well thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.